Right, so we're gonna go ahead and deposit off our 80 rupees that we have. What's this? You need something? Yep, I do. I need to deposit some 80 rupees and you can have my 80 rupees and you can have them and you can do whatever you want with them. You could buy drugs, you could buy weed, you could buy crack, you could buy, uh, porn, you could buy anything. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's give him his, our 80 rupees. There you go. Happy spending! Uh, yeah, we got, uh... 734 rupees in the bag. I thought it sounded kind of pretty dull in the last video. I don't know what it was, but I'm st I'm still on the same recording session. Uh, I guess it was just because uh, I didn't I really didn't know what to talk about. Uh, and yeah, I was messing up on that friggin' uh, protecting the horse carriage from those hooligans. And I managed to lose quite a lot of milk bottles, but I successfully did it. I only had like two milk bottles left before that uh, before I was gone. I was wasted. Right, so let's put, um, make a save here before we go back to the, uh, oh, we have ten masks, nice. And we're on the second day, we're nearly on, we nearly completed the first row of hearts as well, so that's also good. So let's go back to the first day, because we have nothing else to do here. No, not that song. I was about to play the song of double time, I don't really see the point, because I'm not going back to the, f I'm not going to the final day. Right, so what we will need to do on this first day is we're going to have to go and grind for some rupees because we need to buy some red potion. Yes. And this mask is literally compulsory for the next area we're heading to. You definitely need this mask. I recommend you get this mask no matter how hardcore you are, no matter how co how hardcore you think you are at this game seriously you could be like the best gamer in the world and you will still need this mask it is helpful i wouldn't say that you really well it's the best thing to do you can do it without the mask but like i say it's very very hard <laughs> i was over exaggerating there a bit but uh... it is, a, it is hard to do so in a way it is kind of compulsory but I'm, I'm getting it anyway because I don't want to go through all that without this mask because I need it because <laughs> this next area we're going to I'm not so good at so it's, it's mainly just about stealth and sneaking around uh, you can't go running out in the open like you can in most areas so yeah we're going into Metal Gear mode here again like we did in uh, Deku Palace so we're going to obviously need some rupees to purchase this red potion. Now I don't know if this shop is open at this time of day, but we're going to go ahead and see. If they are closed, then I can wait. Uh, obviously go back, obviously um, make the time not slow and make it normal speed. And uh, that will make time go faster so we can get into the shop. But I'm pretty sure the shop that we're heading to is open on at 6pm, or s no not 6pm, 6 6am 6 should I say. <laughs> Not 6 p.m. It's broad daylight out here. Here it is open. Good. Alright. Does he sell red po- Yes, he does. Oh, what a miracle. Alright. Yeah, I'm looking for some red potions, sir. How much? Ah, oh, 30 rupees. Nice. Hey, thanks again. Yep. Alright, so yeah, there is also another option or another way of buying red potion, but that's obviously going to Southern Swamp and helping out that old lady uh, from when she got hit by the skull kid you have to go help her out and then you can get red potion that way but obviously the way that I just did it is a lot more quicker and a lot more faster and it saves less saves time so you don't have to go back to the southern swamp to do that <coughs> luckily town provides you with that potion except the, ta the shop in town does not provide you with the most useful potion, which is the blue potion, which you could get in Ocarina of Time from the potion shop, but this game you can't, because the only place you can get blue potion in this game is from the Southern Swamp, and that's where the Mask of Sense comes in handy. And it's pretty much the only use of the Mask of Sense in this game is to get the blue potion. And why am I playing... Yeah, Pona song. That's what I need. <laughs> <coughs> I 
Where are you, opponent? Are you behind me or are you in front of me? <laughs> you was just hiding behind the statue you just left. Oh god, we're being attacked. Ah, quick, run away, retreat. Retreat. The good thing about Mapona is she completely obliterates anything in her path when she runs into anything. When she makes contact with anything, it's dead. It's flattened, destroyed. Much like it did in uh, Ocarina of Time. See, look, what's that? Oh, die instantly. You know, instant death. Pretty much. Well, pretty much you're indestructible on Epona. Nothing can, uh, nothing can damage you. All right. So the purpose that we're here for is that uh, you see those circle of rocks over there. Well, they aren't any ordinary circle of rocks. Now you could complete. You can find this by complete accident, or you could just, you know, well, I think the only way you could possibly find this thing is by complete accident. I don't see how you would find this, you know, visually or know, oh yeah, there's going to be something in those rocks and it requires you to use the lens of truth. Yeah, the only way you could find this is by complete accident or by using a guide. But uh, anyway, use the lens of truth and you find an invisible soldier here, waving out. Uh, yeah, you must get pretty lonely being invisible. Huh? Don't tell me that's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's because I'm about as impressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. Hmm. I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make an e even an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? Well, that's kind of creepy. You're like a stone and you're surrounded by stones. <laughs> well, here's your red potion anyway. Hope you feel revitalized just by drinking it. Ah, that, that's, that, that, is that it? Yeah, it is. It's your red potion. <laughs> I hope you're happy. I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here, ingratitude. Oh, we got the mask that's supposed to have eyes, but it doesn't have eyes. It's just a stone, and it's called the stone mask. <laughs> where it was seen to become as plain as stone. Basically, it's just like an inv invisibility mask. No enemy, I think no enemy, can see you. So if I wear this and those bomb chew things, those bomb chew rats, uh, well, let's try it out, actually. I don't think these bomb chew rats actually see you if you equip this, but I'm going to go ahead and try. Like, you can just walk around, they won't notice you at all. See that they're just, like, casually walking around. Not knowing that I'm here, but I know that you're there, so I can have the advantage of killing you a lot more easily. But I don't have any arrows, so I'm screwed on that. <laughs> yeah, that plan's foiled. Alright, so let's go to our next area, which we will be heading to now, actually. Now that we have a Pona, we can go to the west side of Terminal Field. Which is indeed the next area we're supposed to be heading off to. <coughs> I think this game can actually be sequence breaked in uh, order of dungeons. Like you could do Stone Tower Temple before you do Great Bay Temple. So Great Bay Temple could be your last dungeon and Stone Tower could be your third. Because all you need is the hookshot to get to uh, the top of, um, top of that cliff. And, um, you also need a certain mask to make that guy on the top of the cliff notice you. And all you need to get that mask is a Pona, so... I think you could actually sequence break... No, you can't actually. No, because you need the ice arrows. Yeah, I just remembered. You need the ice arrows, so no, this game cannot be sequence breaked. You need to do the third dungeon. Before you do the final dungeon. Which is Stone Tower. Whereas Ocarina of Time, you can sequence break it in dungeon order. Like, you don't have to do it in chronological order, you can do it in any order you like. So let's park you here. Because there could be enemies on this beach, you never know. It looks very uninhabited and very deserted. Oh god, we got levers! Yes, that's exactly what I thought. And I don't have any arrows, so I can't pop Tingle. I can't pop Tingle's balloon. Is there any uh, source of arrows or any source of supplies around here that I could uh, 
acquire oh there are bushes here nice now there is a hole around here as well that you could fall down but I'm not sure if it's bombed out like if you have to use a bomb to blow it up let me see I don't even have any bombs do I know the blast mask wouldn't do any good either because I think the bomb needs to actually be placed on the ground now these are the only two houses on the coast one house we can't do until later that house is obviously well this house is a uh, story based so we will have to come back here later but for now there is one thing we have to do here one main thing anyway and as you can see there's a flock of seagulls over on the uh, off the coast of Great Bay and what do you know what is that there is something in the distance it looks oddly like a dead Zora or a, un or, um, a very uh, distressed Zora uh, somebody uh, please g g get me to shore alright so we need to help him and how we help him is that we have to push him by the behind yeah, we have to touch his ass. We have to touch his or ass and push him to shore. I wish those birds would go away. They can end up pooping on me at any second. Because apparently a bird poops every minute, apparently. Uh, so I heard. I don't know whether that's true or not. <laughs> apparently a bird poops every minute. <coughs> and apparently it's lucky to get pooped on. And I don't buy a bird, but I don't see what the luck is in being crapped on by a bird. <laughs> You'd have to go home and wash yourself off. <laughs> Having all that white crap on. And it's not very good eating food on the seashore either, because seagulls can eat Because seagulls, all they do is swoop down and nick your food. And uh, basically, they're like scavengers. They just go out and look for food. Ugh! I'm Maiku of the Zora people, guitarist in the Zora band. I think this is it for me. My final message. <laughs> this cutscene is so ridiculous. Oh man! <laughs> like this is probably the. Oh man! One, two, three. Oh baby, baby, listen to me. The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones live there waiting to see. <laughs> He's getting down before he dies. But that girl, our vocalist, she said some strange eggs and she's lost her voice. You can't hear what she says. Whoa, in Great Bay now, something's a happening, is it now? Oh baby, listen to me. I don't want to beg Gerudo Pirates. They stole that girl's eggs. I went to stop the Gerudo Pirates and pow and BAM I got knocked down and that here I am. Baby, if I die like this, even if I die, it won't be in peace, that's for sure. Somebody, please rescue our eggs before the pirates take their toll. Oh, somebody, somebody, please heal my soul. That's all, thank you. Rock on, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you got down before you died or passed out. P please, my soul, heal it. Well, that's one way to go out in style. <laughs> right, so let's heal his soul by playing the song of healing. Wait, no, that's the Pona song. Yeah, that's the song of healing, and I'm out of lemonade. Oh no, I'm not. I have like a few centimeters left. <laughs> yeah, I had to be specific there. Well, I have about an inch left, actually. Now it'd be easier just to say mouthful instead of inch and centimeters. <laughs> I have a mouthful of lemonade left. And that was a mouthful. Lewis, same centimeter left of lemonade and inch left of lemonade. Oh, what's this? Princess Ruto? The adult version of Princess Ruto. Because she uh, has wings. Whereas uh, Princess Ruto, when she was a kid, when we had to go see her in uh, Jabby Jabby's belly, she didn't have wings or fins. Not wings. They look like w they look like wings, though, don't they? Kinda. You could kind of like imagine her flying in the air <laughs> with those 
miniature wings because obviously wings have to be very strong to pick up the gust from the air and stuff to actually make them soar in the air like take flight it all depends how thick their wings are how big they are to catch the wind you got Zora, you got the zora mouse this mouse contains the spirit of a legendary guitarist oh really so do we get to use this guitar do we get to rock out <laughs> Carve my farewell song on my grave. I'm depending on you to help that singer go. <laughs> now he's a ghost. <laughs> paying our respects. We're paying our... Saying our farewells. If you speak to his grave, he it gives you instructions on how to use the Zora mask. So far, I might as well say this or read this. Herein lies, here rain lies Mikey, the legendary guitarist of the Zora tribe. He is to be remembered in in song, and his lyrics are written here. Will you try to sing Mikey's lyrics? Uh, I won't sing. Oh right. I think it's just like his um, final words are engraved on his grave. So if you want to read his dialogue again, I guess you could uh, go up to the grave and get some more understanding on that. <laughs> if you want to um, re refresh your memory on what he said. Anyway, there's a save point over here, so I'm going to go ahead and slash this owl statue that's on this uh, kind of like submarine-ish looking thing. Uh, marine laboratory kind of thing. I don't know what this thing is. What is this thing? Is it like pirates or something? <laughs> Alright. I don't have any arrows to slash tingle, but I think I can use the bubbles to burst it. But I am... My bubbles probably aren't... Don't have a big enough range to take down his balloon. I can try. Now that's no way near going to get it. I'm going to have to climb the ladder then and try it from there. Yeah, this should do it. Hopefully. There's also some good stock ups behind the um behind this structure, behind this building. So if you want to stock up on um arrows, oh. Huh. Arrows, yeah. Arrows and bombs and fairies and magic and bombs. Look, they're all behind here. All right, so now I don't have to use the Deku mask as such, but well actually I might as well go ahead. Considering now that I have the Deku Mask equipped. But then again, that probably won't reach it either. I'll have to blow, blow a bigger balloon. Or blow a bigger bubble. Not blow a bigger balloon. What do you want about? Now that's not going to reach it. I have to use arrows then. Yeah, I was going to say. I th thought there was like some... Because I knew there was fairies behind there. But I didn't think there was arrows behind there. I was just thinking about fairies. And so is Tingle, because Tingle's always thinking about fairies. He's always saying that I'm a fairy, or that he's a fairy. What's this? Green clothes, white fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Yeah, he's saying that I'm a fairy. Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Yeah, I know. You don't need to speak anymore. We've already heard your dialogue like five billion times already. Yes, great bay map. Now this is the biggest section, or the biggest portion of the map that gets filled, is the Great Bay map. Well, call again. Tingle, tingle, kalu, limpa. Yeah. And I'll show you right now that this is the biggest portion of the map that gets filled, is just the Great Bay coast. Look. So all that that was missing, was all that cloudiness, and that's the last area down there, below um, Snowhead and next to, yeah, the eastern side of the map. Anyway guys, I'm going to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next video, we're going to go and check over in that house over there. The one where I said that is story based and that we have to go in there and speak to whoever's inside. So I'll do that in the next video. So until then, take care everybody, see you all in the next video. And this is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.